All right, hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick here with Dashboard Trading Platform. So I wanted to give you a quick analysis on a few uh, successful dashboard trades that we took so far this week. Uh, so let's go ahead and break it down. So first thing, when you open up the platform, always want to click on the logo here in the top left-hand corner. Uh, just to refresh the platform, we should be expecting some new peak updates, which we already have some around 5 p.m. So uh, the pairs that I do want to be looking, taking a look at are pound US dollar, which we actually have right here. And as you can see, Dashboard successfully caught this right at the weekend period separator right here. So following that, we had number one, pound US dollar, Dashboard locked in the peak, which gave us only short positions. So we were only looking for short trades and sure as the Surely we had a few positions there that we could have taken for 100 pips. Now, let's take a look at silver. Same thing. Right here, the period separator, we caught silver dashboard. Again, around 100 pips for gold. USD CAD was another one, which dashboard signaled right here. And upon a shark fin entry. So, step one, dashboard peak formation low one is confirmed. So, that's step one. So, right here, check mark confirmed. And we can find our entries anywhere around here on USD CAD. Now, let me do something for you. Let me actually uh, clear up all these annotations here. And let me open up my platform. Drawings. Now let's take a look at pound Japanese yen first. Dashboard caught the brand new bearish cycle. And we had plenty of opportunities. And if we zoom in here, you can see we have that shark fin. So we look for this. We had this at the volatility band, and we had very nice entries here. And if you already see this, this is an M pattern, which we look for. So step one, the dashboard signaled a bearish trend. And step two, we had the shark fin right there. So let's take a look at pound US dollar. Same thing here. We had the spike up and we had a shark fin. And if we take a look right here, we have an M pattern. And even taking a look here closely on the 15 minute time frame, you can see that shark fin right there. And we had entries today in line with the dashboard, which is saying a peak formation high right now. So let's go back to the platform. Let's clear up all of our drawings. And let's take a look at pound Japanese yen, what we were just looking at. PFH, step one, check mark. Step two is an M pattern or a shark fin, which we had here. And if we take a look, 170 pips, depending on where you took your profit. So as you can see, it's very consistent. Rule number one is we're looking for brand new peaks with a check mark, or we're just looking to trade in line with the dashboard. Okay, only trading in line. So. For example, on silver, we're only looking for short trades because we had a PFH. Whatever your entry strategy is, which I recommend you check into the shark fin, we would have rided all the way and taken these profits.
So now going through everything in the platform, we also have a legend here. Uh, if you're a user, you already know this. This is just a quick reference. And then if we take a look at the trading floor, we actually had Jason post here. Um, let me show you the before, which he posted. So as you can see, here we have USD CAD analysis, which he posted to PFL. And we already knew that this was a new peak that dashboard fired. And it saves us a tremendous amount of time on analysis because it's doing everything for us. And all we need to do is just focus on entries. Direction is taken care of. Now let's take a look here. Posted nine hours ago, before, and then here's USD CAD now. So as you can clearly see, 90 pips floating, how powerful dashboard is. And now we're expecting a few new peaks as we're analyzing everything, possibly some long positions on Euro Swiss franc, pound NZD. We had this beautiful bullish run here, seeing we can find any pullbacks and the continuation and I'm showing you all the trades that we had here.